Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Um, questions about my um, Ken Smith 70s KSD bass. It's the retro, retro J5. I'm going to talk about it right quick. People asked me about the sound, what type of wood, why did it sound that good after being 15 years old. All right, let me talk about the modifications I did. First of all, I got rid of the stock pickup, and I went with the Aguilar's. AG705. These are jazz pickups exclusively. All right, 705s, AG705s. I went with those. Amazing. What I had to do though, I had to take the Dremel tool and Dremel out this area right here to make them fit in there. But you can't really tell. Did an awesome job. All right, so as you can see, I had to Dremel out right here to make the cavity a little bit bigger. All right, because these pickups are the same size. Not one smaller, not the other one larger. All right, same size. But it specifies on the pickup which one is for the neck and which one is for the bridge. I like this bridge pickup because of the proximity that it is to the bridge pickup and to the bridge. I love that. All right, then I love where the neck pickup is in proximity to the neck and between the two pickups. A little bit different. Now, here's what a lot of people ask me. How am I getting that sound out of that bass? Forget my picture in the, in the bass. But anyway, this is the Ardeer Jay-Z 3 Pro 4-band preamp. 4-band, not 3. 4-band. Here's what's unique and here's what's different. I'm going to turn everything off. All right. So here's what's unique and here's what's different. This is not a volume and this is not a blend. This is a ooh, neck pickup volume. The top one deals with my neck pickup volume and blend as far as corresponding with the bridge pickup at the bottom. The bottom is the bridge pickup volume and blend. So I blend the two this way. So if I want to go all neck, turn off the bridge. If I want to add bridge to detent, boom, right there. If I want to turn off the neck, goodbye. If I want to add neck, boom, all right? This is the high mid, low mid, all right? This is the treble bass. And I have a, a, a mid cut switch that has three positions. This gives me more of that jock on in, in number one to where I can run the bridge pickup without the neck pickup, go here, um, turn off the mid, high, and low, and kind of crank the treble, all right? If I just want to do regular style gospel or something, position number two. All right, come back, detent on the treble, highs and the lows, all right? Detent here also, all right? Add a little bit more bass, a little bit more treble, and that gives it. Now, if I want to boost all that and take it to a different level, position number three. Don't sleep on the Ardeer preamp, the Jay-Z 3 Pro 4-band. They make this preamp in six different flavors. They have four 3-bands, and they have two 4 band. This is a 4 band, a little bit more, but you can find them used now for about $149. All right, this is an amazing preamp. All right, I have it hooked to my battery compartment in the back, but it hooks right under the control plate. All right, I was going to change the the pickup. I mean, the um, I can't think of what you call that thing right now. I was going to change the pickup guard, but I didn't. I kept it there. I like that black. It's kind of beat up. It's kind of old. Uh, got some usage in it. Um, and that's it. Uh, and what I love is this maple neck with a maple fretboard. That wood is just amazing. Wood is just amazing. I polished everything in there. Brought it back to life. The base is 10 pounds, eight ounces, but I can handle it now after I'm um, picking it up over and over and over again, sticking with this one base for a month. It's no issue, you can't feel the weight of it. All right? So that is my Ken Smith KDS Retro, Retro J5. Okay. These Aguilar pickups are jazz pickups. I think they're AG705s. You've heard them on the videos. If you haven't, 
go watch the last video I did. Put headphones on or some earbuds. Those puppies right there are the business. All right. The next base I have compared to that is my Sire V7 second generation. Then I have a P base. I have an M2. Um, I have two Allen Eaton bases. Then I have another Fender Jazz base. All right. So, but this one right here is what my focus is right now because I'm get to, able to get everything that I want out of it. I can get that bass mod sound. I can get um, that American Jazz sound, all of it out of this bass. So if you have a Ken Smith, hold on to it. I'm looking to get another one. I'm looking to get another one, put the same spec into it, and I'm going to hold them for as long as I can. So if you can, find you one of these bases. I like to head stock on re reviews I read. In 2005, 2006, there were a lot of complaints, but I don't find any of those complaints once I upgraded to electronics and did what I need to do. Not changing the bridge. The bridge is nice. The right, bridge is cool. The action is very low. Action is very low. So my action is banging. All right? So again, that is my Ken Smith, um, Super Ken Smith with the Aguilar. AG 